This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Ken Kozarowski. The House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol insurrection is withdrawing its subpoena of former President Donald Trump. Chairman Benny Thompson said the committee can no longer pursue the information covered by the subpoena because the investigation is ending. Trump was subpoenaed in October for documents and testimony, but he never complied. Instead, Trump sued the committee to block the subpoena. As the committee concludes its work, it has already referred Trump to the Justice Department for potential criminal prosecution on four separate charges. The Department of Homeland Security has warned about potential domestic extremist acts related to the lifting of Title 42. The Biden administration was preparing to lift the policy after a court ordered it, but the Supreme Court ruled Title 42 will remain in place while lower courts work out legal challenges. The DHS memo says extremists were discussing attacks that target migrants and infrastructure. Those plots could include firearm attacks on migrants, landmines along migration routes, and luring migrants into trailers and poisoning them with gas. Well, sure, it's a very cloudy start here to the afternoon, basically le leaving off from where we had this morning with all the cloud cover overhead, and you can see that there from City Cam 8 currently. Temperatures in La Crosse now are at 42 degrees. Pretty mild in Sparta right now at 45, and we got a mild temperature as well in Black River Falls at 46 degrees. The only cold spots are mainly to the north and west, where we're seeing those current temperature readings into the upper 30s to low 40s. Meanwhile, check out Basketball, 50 degrees. Definitely a heat wave there for you this afternoon with wind chill values looking like this into the upper 30s to low 40s, but this is what it feels like currently outside. In the meantime, our satellite and radar showing all the thick clouds that continue to move in across the area. A few light rain showers here towards the Twin Cities. That looks like it's going to be staying away, but wouldn't surprise me at all if we see a few light sprinkles develop underneath some of these thicker clouds. And as a matter of fact, we actually do have those chances. Very light chances, though, that is seeing a light uh, chance of shower or drizzle underneath some of those overcast conditions that we currently have, especially by the time we reach the late afternoon to the early evening time frame with those temperatures into the upper 30s to low 40s, making it still a very mild day today here, Ken. And we'll talk about this plus more in the full weather forecast in just a bit. All right. Thanks very much, yeah. Derek. Roughly 25 people used the La Crosse's Southside Neighborhood Center as a shelter during last week's winter storm. Mayor Mitch Reynolds made the emergency declaration. News A Now's Dua Estrar spoke to the city's homeless services coordinator about the city's plan for future emergencies. For people who live outside, finding a place to stay during severe weather can be the difference between life or death. There's a lot of people that really care and, and understand the issue of homelessness and what that means for our community. When last week's winter storm made its way to La Crosse, Mayor Mitch Reynolds issued an emergency declaration. So this was an emergency plan strictly based off of the weather that was about to hit our community instead of the numbers in our community. The city opened the Southside Neighborhood Center from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. We averaged between 25 and 30 individuals in the evening. Um, during the daytime, because we were open 24-7, we had higher numbers. People who came after the hours needed a referral to enter or be escorted by the La Crosse Police Department. That's typical for warming centers. Um, that was based off of policies um, here in La Crosse as well, like at Catholic Charities Warming Center. So we wanted to keep that consistent. Volunteers and nonprofits, including the Salvation Army and Karuna, provided meals. Uh, there were a couple of other meals provided by different agencies and different people as well throughout the time. La Crosse's Homeless Service Coordinator Brian Sand Thompson says the emergency shelters were successful, but are not a long-term solution. Housing is the way out of this. The more people we have off the streets and the more people that we have into housing with the necessary supportive services, the better it is for everybody. Reporting in La Crosse, Dua Srar, News 8 Now. Thanks very much, Dua. Talent security and cleaning services were used during the emergency declaration. Samson says the city is still working on calculating the total cost. During the storm, city officials and nonprofits also offered meals to people who were still at Huska Park and reminded them that the shelter was an option. Federal funding will help the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater La Crosse get kids interested in future careers. Representative Ron Kind helped secure $1.5 million for the BGC. The money will go toward building an addition on the Erickson Club that will have more space for workforce readiness programs. I've always believed that the best investment we can make as a country is in our youth. To make sure that they're given every opportunity to be successful and, and to succeed in life, especially with the hyper-competitive global economy that we find ourselves in. 
So the new program will focus on offering kids a chance to learn about trade and manufacturing jobs. Kids will learn what they like and don't like about skilled trades. Leaders at BGC say they already offer programs through partnerships with local companies, and they are a huge success. We have a great partnership right now with Train Technologies. They come in and run some STEM programming for us. And what we found is that some of those kids that normally um, have some behavioral issues or have a lot going on at home and at school, that's the one hour of the day where they are laser focused. They're really engaged, they're having fun, they're learning something, and they're feeling good about themselves. This funding won't cover all the costs of the addition and programming, but leaders say they're hoping to break ground sometime next year. It's been a successful year for rotary lights. Volunteers say they've had very few obstacles besides sub-zero temperatures and some rainy days. Weather like that might lower the amount of people who visit the park each day, but organizers say they've received over 5 million food donations, and that number will be even higher once they collect fruit, food from their first ever food drive. Collection sites in the Cooley region will be going to 12 different area food pantries. Volunteers say it's been such a success that they hope to keep the food drive for the long run. What we've uh, broken ground for here now, uh, we're going to continue to do in the years to come. Taking down lights from Riverside Park on Sunday or Monday, it'll take about seven days. Still to come this afternoon, we all know moving is no cakewalk, but this Wisconsin family just made the move of all moves. We'll explain why after the break. Save money and sleep better during the PM Mismatch Mattress Sale. Twin starting at $159, full start at $249, and queen pillow tops as low as $399. Shop the Mismatch Mattress Sale today only at PM Sleep Center, giving La Crosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. La Crosse Glass and Overhead Doors has been selling, servicing, and installing garage doors since 1964 and believe garage doors should be exceptional quality and craftsmanship. We guarantee to help you select a door to fit all of your needs. We offer a large stock inventory of CHI overhead doors, including residential, commercial, rolling steel, and high-speed doors. Visit our website and design the door of your dreams with CHI Door Visions. Get your free quote today. Why shop the Habitat Restore? We offer new and used building materials, furniture, appliances, home decor, and more at 50 to 70% off retail pricing. New items arrive daily, so it's never the same store twice. Find us on Facebook to catch sneak peeks of products throughout the week. Feel good knowing your purchase helps build and repair homes in our community as 100% of profits stay local and support Habitat's mission. Open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. off Highway 16 past Woodman's. Jolivet Family Farms features one of the area's largest selections of frozen seafood, including king crab legs, lobster tail, shrimp, cod, calamari, alligator, salmon fillets, smelt, and frog legs. Choose from our large selection of fresh fruit and vegetables to complete your restaurant-style dinner prepared at home. Your dinner isn't complete without something from the Jolivet Homemade Bakery. Don't forget a bottle of Door County wine to complete your stay-at-home night out. At Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Cooley Auto, La Crosse's only dealership specializing in southern rust-free vehicles, is now offering late-model, low-mile vehicles. Vehicles to fit every budget and lifestyle, including high-end premium vehicles. Choose Cooley Auto, friendly salespeople, top-notch service, and good quality vehicles. Cooley Auto, specializing in rust-free southern and late-model, low-mileage premium vehicles. See us on Rose Street in La Crosse. Call or visit CooleyAuto.com today. Save money and sleep better during the Mismatch Mattress Sale at PM Sleep Center. Choose from over 15 queen mattresses starting at $599 or less. Shop the Mismatch Mattress Sale only at PM Sleep Center. Giving La Crosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The couple that fought for five years to stop the village of Mount Pleasant from removing their home due to the Foxconn development is finally moving out, but they're keeping their home. Bruce Harrison has the story. This is not your average mobile home. When the Mahoney family built it in 2016, it was never supposed to move. This is a big day that I was, I was not sure would ever come. Kelly Gallagher is speaking on behalf of the Mahoney's. 
Legally, Jim and Kim Mahoney can't under their settlement with the village. And I think it's a, it's a great thing. I applaud them for not uh, putting the house in a landfill because well, over 80 other houses did. Yeah. You know, so this is the one that didn't make it. Mount Pleasant settled with the Mahoney's for roughly $950,000. They've now relocated from the last piece of land Foxconn wanted for its campus to build displays. Still in Mount Pleasant, the Mahoney's didn't move far. And here's the home's new home, some seven miles and three hours later. That's a slow seven miles, but the workers tell me slow is the way to go when you're moving around 60 tons of home. For us, it was a really monumental task. The general contractor and movers had to work with local, county, and state authorities, taking down streetlights, mailboxes, and posting flaggers at railroad tracks. As far as high-profile home movings, where would you say this one ranks? Well, that's at the top of it. I mean, we've, we've done a lot of cool stuff in our days, and this, uh, this is definitely something that uh, was we're happy to be a part of. Mahoney's future is finally clear, but Foxconn, well, many locals are still waiting for an answer. I think that everybody in Mount Pleasant or in, in Racine County uh, really want to know what Foxconn's plans are long term. Bruce asked Foxconn if they have specific plans for the Mahoney land. Foxconn sent a statement back saying, quote, the park remains a key strategic asset, allowing the company to respond to market demand for Foxconn-related activities that involve joint venture partnerships. As we head to break, let's get a live look at the New York Stock Exchange, see how the money is moving today. Stay with us. More news is coming up next. The countdown to savings is happening now at Ashley. Ring in the new year with new styles for every room of your home. Plus, get five-year special financing, no minimum purchase required. Visit your local Ashley store in Arcadia, Eau Claire, and on Alaska, and the Ashley outlet in Arcadia. 102.7 WKBH. Hey, it's Kelly Wilde from Magnum Media, and I've been getting inklings. My wife Susie telling me that 102.7 WKBH is on all over the place. Well, now the results are in, and thank you very much. Out of all the radio stations in La Crosse County, you made 102.7 WKBH number one. Just when you thought you were done painting, you discover paint bleed under your tape. Not with Frog Tape. Frog Tape is the only painter's tape treated with paint block technology. Paint block reacts with the water in latex paint to form a micro barrier against paint bleed, giving you the sharpest lines possible. Get professional results with Frog Tape. No messy lines, no paint bleed. For sharp lines, every time, frog it. Welcome to the brand new Holiday Inn Express and Suites. Whether you're here for business, family events, or a weekend getaway, we've got you covered. Overtired, overworked, lay down in one of our super comfy beds. Got kids? Our adjoining rooms are perfect for a restful night's sleep. Let the kids burn off energy in our kiddie pool while you relax in our hot tub. Come check in and check out our brand new Holiday Express and Suites in Onalaska La Crosse. Make the resolution to get better sleep this year with a new mattress from Ashley. Bring home your choice of comfort on select Ashley Sleep Queen mattresses starting at just $449.99. Visit your local Ashley store in Arcadia, Eau Claire, and on Alaska, and the Ashley outlet in Arcadia. New tech to track your fruits and veggies, and in this season of giving, roll up a sleeve. Michael George has some of the day's top health stories. Thank you. It's the most critical time of year for blood donations. The American Red Cross says there's an urgent call for donors, with someone in the U.S. needing blood or platelets every two seconds. The Red Cross is giving out long sleeve t-shirts through January 2nd to those who donate. Reduced access to abortion is linked to an increased suicide risk for young women. That's according to a new study from the University of Pennsylvania. Researchers found in states where abortion access had been restricted, suicide rates increased among women ages 25 to 44. Doctors say lack of abortion access can be a significant mental health stressor. And there's an app for that. 
Researchers in the UK developed an app to help people get their five-a-day servings of fruits and vegetables. It also instructs users about portion size, which researchers hope will be a lasting educational benefit. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Time now for a look outside through City Cam 8. Mild temperatures, the name of the game today. Derek's in next with weather. Ladies, are you tired of the same old happy hour? How about buy one, get one free margaritas? Join us for fun and fiesta on Adelita Wednesdays, only at Senor Villa. Authentic Mexican food and flavor. Are you an experienced carpenter, window and door installer, flooring or tile installer, considering a new opportunity in the year ahead? The Board Store is the area's premier home improvement contractor, serving the community from the same location for over 33 years. Continued growth opens new opportunities. Good pay, good benefits and respect. No weekends or overnight travel. Begin a new career where skill matters and character is valued. Apply online or at the Board Store Home Improvements, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. And he was a kid, four years old, he had lats. The only way you get lats is from doing prison time and doing pull-ups. He was a bad little kid. He was so evil, his first baby tooth, it came in chipped. Walking around the neighborhood, smoking his mama's cigarettes. Get ready for the comedy of Marlon Wayans, the Microphone Fiend Tour. Saturday, February 11th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, with special guest D.C. Irvin. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Marlon Wayans, live. An active workday, a busy workday, but at a place that recognizes the great work that you do and a benefits package you won't believe. No, they really are great. At Century Foods International, we do things different. We do them better. Feel valued, feel rewarded, and let us appreciate you for all your effort. Apply today and join our team at Century Foods International in Sparta. Make it a family dinner night every Sunday at Senior Villa, where kids eat free, one per adult, open to close. And it's a menu you know they'll love. Senior Villa, authentic Mexican food and flavor in La Crosse and on Alaska. The Board Store Home Improvements family wishes you a happy new year. Visit soon to plan your 2023 home improvement project. It's never too early to dream. Very cloudy start here to the afternoon, basically where we left off here from this morning. And you can see those thick clouds there outside here in downtown La Crosse with current temperatures around 42 degrees. Visibility looking good though at 10 miles. River stage 5.23 feet and rising. Humidity is definitely up there, 82%, dew point of 37. Let's take a look now at the current conditions for the north and Eau Claire. Mostly cloudy here, 39 degrees, but the feel like of only 34, not too bad. That's because our winds are pretty light, 7 miles an hour to the south-southwest. Visibility at around 10 miles here as well. Winona is also pretty warm, 41 degrees. Black River Falls, the temperature of 46. And Basquebel, you've come down here just a tad earlier. You were at 50, now you're at 49, 47 in Prairie du Chien. Check out the last 24-hour uh, temperature differences here. Much warmer, about 5 to 10 to 5 5 to 10 degrees warmer across the map with highs today into those low to mid 40s. We're expecting highs to reach 47 in Sparta today. Only about 40 degrees in Eau Claire today and 46 degrees this afternoon for you in Viroqua. Lots of cloud cover here moving in across the Cooley region from the west. A few light rain showers here to our west as well. We might start to tap into some of that here later. All ahead of a frontal boundary here back towards the west. And this cold front is actually going to be responsible for bringing us some cooler temperatures because it is forecast to move into the area as we head into tonight, but out ahead of it, pretty warm with temperatures in the 40s throughout the afternoon with cloudy skies. Although by seven o'clock, we may start to tap into some moisture that could lead to a few light rain showers or at least at the very least a drizzle or two. You see that here, a couple of spotty sprinkles here across the area late this afternoon, but especially as we head into the evening, probably a better chance of seeing a couple of isolated uh, spotty showers across portions of our central and eastern areas. But everything kind of clears out in terms of the rain chances for tonight, but conditions will continue to remain overcast through the night though and looks like more of the same is expected as we head into early tomorrow morning. The remaining cloud cover uh, will clear out as we head into tomorrow afternoon and you, as you can see these temperatures here will be much cooler because of that cold front that moved through dropping our highs down into the 20s and 30s and then our lows here at night should reach uh, the teens as we head into Friday night. Still looking pretty cloudy though as we take you into early Saturday morning still pretty cloudy as well with those temperatures a little cooler and then we're going to be warming up into the 30s here once again for Saturday afternoon. 
under partly cloudy weather conditions. And speaking of those temperatures here, as we mentioned before, enjoy them while they last because it looks like that trend is only going to continue to go up as we head into early Tuesday of next week. But then after that, we really drop down quite a bit into the low 30s for Wednesday and Friday, which is a little bit closer to average for this time of the year. Uh, as we get another cold front forecast to move in next week. But looks like the long range indications are at least for the six to 10 day climatological temperature average is showing us that we will be much more average or above average, I should say, for this time of the year, making it pretty mild across the upper Midwest. Let's take a look now at your eight day forecast. And you'll see that we will have those uh, pretty mild temperatures here to work with for a while with chance of rain and snow here on Saturday. We'll keep our eyes on that. But other than that, this weekend, looks pretty cloudy. Now we will be looking at some rain chances early next week too on Monday and Tuesday from our next system moving through and behind that system. Well, it's going to get uh, cold again for Wednesday and Thursday. Highs dropping into the low 30s. These are low temperatures kind of remaining somewhat consistent though into the 20s. Ken. All right. Thanks very much, Derek. Yeah. Still to come, tempers flaring on the professional hardwood. What sparked a few altercations last night and the suspensions that are potentially on the way. We're here with Stockton's of Oz Hill, where we have the area's largest selection of alcoholic beverages. We have seltzers, a large variety of beers, over 100 varieties of wine, cocktail mixes, liquor, and I'll be looking for you even over here by the original beverage, water. It's the end of the year, so you know what that means? Carl's New Year's clearance sale is on. Save up to 55% on floor displays, one of a kind, and scratch and dent major appliances. You get free installation on select dishwashers. Save up to 40% on clearance electronics. Outdoor cooking is priced to move. You even get 60 to 80% off select TV stands. It's Carl's New Year's clearance sale on now. Carl's your servicing dealer since 1956. Wisconsin, it's easy to take for granted how we warm up, but what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. Birthdays are something to celebrate, and our News 8 This Morning team highlight them every day. If someone you know is turning 8 or 88, submit a picture of them at News8000.com today. Look Who's 8, brought to you locally by Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska. Little teeth, big smiles. It's time to nominate your favorite businesses for Best of Lacrosse County. Make your nominations in each category now through December 31st. The top five in each category will advance to the voting round. Go to bestofacrosscounty.com. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Here, here with Stockton's of Oz Hill, where we have the area's largest selection of snacks for all seasons. Popcorn and peanuts, summer sausage, crackers, cookies, and the classics like box chips, where we have all your beverages to wet your whistle. Explore the La Crosse region, just a road trip away. Welcome back. Three NBA players were ejected last night after tensions boiled over in a game in Detroit. A loose ball triggered a scuffle between the Orlando Magic, Magic and Detroit Pistons. As Pistons guard Killian Hayes chased after the ball, Magic forward Mo Wagner shoved him into his team bench. Hayes then punched Wagner in the back of the head. Now, Wagner slumped forward as Magic players then raced over from their team bench, and you can hear Detroit's PA announcer immediately try and maintain order in the stands. <laughs> Players could actually face suspensions because they left their bench area. It's against the rules. Now the Pistons went on to win this game 121 to 101. The incident, of course, slightly reminiscent of a fight between the Pistons and Indiana Pacers that became forever known as the Malice at the Palace back in 2004 after fans became involved in the melee. Well, a lower stakes scuffle took place last night between the Bucks and Bulls. Bucks guard Grayson Allen fouled by a Bucks player, by a Bulls player, but then. Allen appears to extend his momentum into Bulls star DeMar DeRozan, who went to the ground. And DeRozan immediately getting up, trying to get in Allen's face. Meanwhile, Giannis and Wes Matthews separating the two. DeRozan, after the game, called it an excessive hit, while Allen maintained it was incidental contact. Now, officials reviewed this, did not issue any fouls on Allen or DeRozan, but did foul Robert Williams, the screener. The Bulls went on to win this game. But, of course, it's not the first incident between Allen and Bulls players. 
Last season, Allen ejected for this foul on Alex Caruso. Caruso had to undergo surgery on his wrist after this and missed two months. Stay with us. One more check of your forecast when we come back. Pilgrims was great. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, they united around me from HR down to the people on the floor. They helped me get through the rough times. Pilgrims is not just a job, it's a career path. Don't miss the Carpets to Go odds and ends sale going on now. Take advantage of huge savings in short rolls, remnants, ceramic, LVT, laminate, and vinyl. Plus, get a six-pound pad with any carpet remnant purchase. In-stock click-together luxury vinyl planks start at only $3.49 a square foot with pad attached. Get 12 months interest-free financing with approved credit. Save big on whatever you want on your floor at Carpets to Go inventory odds and ends sale. Going on now. Why shop the Habitat Restore? We offer new and used building materials, furniture, appliances, home decor, and more at 50 to 70% off retail pricing. New items arrive daily, so it's never the same store twice. Find us on Facebook to catch sneak peeks of products throughout the week. Feel good knowing your purchase helps build and repair homes in our community as 100% of profits stay local and support Habitat's mission. Open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. off Highway 16 past Woodman's. Ram Tough is perfect for us at Pishke Motors. We've got some pretty tough customers. Get in on the big finish of 2022 with Pishke and Ram. Now through January 3rd, a new Ram Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 comes with up to $8,000 off with discount and rebates. Plus, get great financing with no payments for 90 days. Stop by in West Salem or La Crosse and test drive one today. Ram and Pishke Motors, getting the job done. Working Pilgrims has been working super nice, very convenient for me and my family. Especially this job, I have a CDL driver license. Pilgrims is more than a job, it's a career path. Cubiato Service Center, service you need, care you deserve. Cloudy skies with a slight chance of a drizzle here or there, mild conditions, and it looks like mild conditions with cloudy skies stick around throughout the rest of the next eight days. Derek, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.